We're in Central Nevada hunting antelope with Mike. He called me last year. So we were talking. I, I told him I never killed antelope. Said he had an extra tag, so he said we're going antelope hunting. This is more deer country and elk country to me, but these flats seem to hold a lot of antelope. I think I spotted a pretty good one. He's a ways away, so we're gonna try to get closer to see. Pleasure. I hope you get the biggest of the bunch. I hope so. Okay, I'm sending it. The traditions of the outdoor sportsmen are more important than ever, and it's up to us to pass them on to others. Two families, one passion to inspire the next generation of ethical hunters and conservationists, continuing the legacy of hunting and fishing in the outdoors. state of Nevada. Uh, we just crossed over the Austin summit and we're headed to the Young Ranch to meet Dan. He's the ranch manager. My buddy Caleb and I have a couple pronghorn antelope tags that we bought from the Young Ranch. See what the plan is. See where all the antelope are hanging out and hopefully go do some scouting this afternoon and hopefully we'll find a good speed go. She tried him on his phone. He don't answer, but she said, go down to the other fields, and she said, go look around down there, and if I get a hold of him, I'll just tell him to meet you over there. She said, that's where all the antelope are, over at the other one. All right, sounds good. That's a big goat. Watch me pick his head up. Uh -huh. Oh, Dad, come check it out. Yeah. But that's a bit, like, yeah, this, is, this goat's better than that goat, I'm telling you right now. Yeah, so I've never hunted antelope out here in this part of the state. Usually, I'm more northern Washoe County. That's where I grew up hunting the antelope. This is more deer country and elk country to me, but these flats seem to hold a lot of antelope. My buddy TJ said there's a lot of good goats out here. We're in Central Nevada hunting antelope with Mike. He called me last year, so we were talking. I, I told him I never killed antelope. Said he had an extra tag, so he said, we're going antelope hunting, save the date, so. We're just out here. Scoping some of these antelope out. There's a couple of really, really good ones in there. Always good when there's a ton of antelope around. You got another? Just a classic western species along with elk and mule deer. You know, when I think of the west, I think of pronghorn and just wide open spaces. So they're a pretty iconic animal. And I think anybody that hunts North America a lot would enjoy hunting them. It's uh, beautiful places, not a hard hunt, but it's a fun hunt. You can enjoy with friends and have a good time for sure. I think I spotted a pretty good one. He's a ways away, so we're gonna try to get closer to see, but. On these, you're gonna try to find a lot of mass, right? If they're heavy, if they're wide, if they're super tall, curl back, stuff like that. A lot of important one is height and mass. He's good, but like I said before, I'm gonna listen to everybody else's opinion because these things drive me nuts because I never, my whole life I've never been able to judge them and I'm almost 50 so <laughs> also like to give a shout out to the Nevada Department of Wildlife for their landowner tag slash depredation tag program that they do for the ranchers here in Nevada they really do have a great program to subsidize the ranchers for those animals that destroy their crops when they come out and they do a count on your ranch for every 50 head of animals whether it's an antelope a deer an elk you get one depredation slash landowner tag that you could put up for sale to someone that has a hunting license in Nevada you can buy that tag from the landowner 
and that money goes back into the rancher's pocket slash landowner for to subsidize their funds for crops lost due to you know animals being in their in their field so i think it's a really good program you know i get a lot of flack every once in a while from people that say oh well you get to hunt every year because you can go buy a tag well that's not true sometimes we do draw tags sometimes we don't it helps the hunters it helps the ranchers and i think it's a great program Well, appreciate it. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Pleasure. I hope you get the biggest of the bunch. I hope so. We'll I'll keep grow you posted. Another, we'll grow another big one for you next year. Works for me. Right. We'll be back. Be Thank safe. you, Dan. Yeah. Okay, I'm sending it. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Right, Dude! Drop it. <laughs> Dustin Crandall strikes again! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Good shooting, buddy. Hell yeah, shooting thank down. you, man. That was awesome. Hell yeah. Wow! He come across the field, we tried to get set up, and he just laid down and took a nap, and <laughs> we waited for a while, drank an iced tea and the water, and he finally stood up, and we gave him a little Proof research slash RMP love, and, and now we're gonna go check him out. So, he's a great looking buck. yeah, yeah he's he did, an awesome, he did. heavy, heavy. Super excited. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I think so. Damn. It's a handling one. Yes, sir. It's a heavy. A heavy goat, dude. Yeah, it is. Had a great half day hunt yesterday afternoon. Killed a really nice antelope. Now my buddy Caleb's got a tag and we're gonna go up to a different area across the highway where he has a tag and see if we can get another one done this morning, so. You see him there, Caleb? He dialed 9.25. Buck, huh? Nicely done, dude. He's big, dude. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, bud. That is a hell of a buck. Hell yeah. That's sweet. It's a good yeah, antelope, man. Awesome job. Awesome. There was a ton of antelope out here. This whole field's covered with them. So he just had really good hooks and looked like he got decent mass. So we decided to go with him. Mike shot a really heavy buck yesterday with an extra point. So we're trying to get it done this morning. I didn't think we'd get it done this quick, but when they're there, they're there. So. We're gonna go take a look at him, see what we got. How far? Uh, 575. 575. RMP rifles. Oh. That's awesome. Joey spotted this this goat early this morning when we first got out here to the fields, and me and Mike were looking at a different field. And he called us over, said we should come take a look at him, and it didn't take long to figure out this is one we wanted to shoot. So. Got as close as we could. They were kind of milling out in this alfalfa and ended up making a, a decent shot on him. And here he is. So it's a beautiful goat. And my first goat, Mike invited me down. I found, he found out I never shot a goat. So he said, hey, we're going goat hunting. So <laughs> he's, here, a, here he's a hammer, dude. Oh, he's a great man. He's beautiful. That's a beautiful first goat. goat. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, sir. He's got great prongs and good hooks and got a little bit of everything. So I appreciate it, buddy. Absolutely, man. Thank you again. Congratulations. He's beautiful. Yes, sir. We had a great time here in Nevada hunting speed goats. 
with my buddy Caleb. Uh, we killed two giant antelope. We're super proud of them. And it was a really cool experience on this hunt to have my son Joey with me. This time of year, he usually wouldn't get to go because he'd have football. Uh, and due to the coronavirus, that got canceled till spring, supposedly. But it was good to have him here. I always enjoy time in the field with my son. Shout out to Joey DeAnda for, for being here and helping out. Even though he didn't have a tag in his pocket, it was it was the old man's turn this time. It's me and Mike, we've uh, we've been out fortunate to hunt a lot together. He's one of my best friends, and like I say, he, he invited me on this hunt, uh, knowing that I I never harvested an antelope myself. So any chance I get to hunt with Mike and the Prime Revolution team, I, I jump on it. They're great friends and even better people. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you soon. On to the next one.